Hi everybody, this is the real first episode of my vlog. Um, so, so I'm currently in Ireland. Tomorrow I'm gonna run the rock and roll half marathon in Dublin. Um, and I want to show you what happened yesterday. So I took, um, took my flight to come to Dublin and I will show you my day and I will explain what happened then. The idea of the vlog is to show the life of a visually impaired triathlete and traveler. Um, I would like to show the world what is it to do it alone. I'm not always traveling alone, sometimes with my girlfriend or with family, my parents. Um, but most of the time uh, I'm alone and I want to explain what are the situation that could be difficult when you have low vision and you find yourself uh, more or less alone in those situations. So I took the, the train to the airport, it's very very easy, it's only 20 minutes from my flat uh, and it's maybe 10 minutes with the bus to the train station. Um, so the thing is um, when I'm traveling alone uh, I go to the assistance desk at the airport um, I know where is it, at the Brussels airport, uh, because I'm living in Belgium. So, um, you go to the assistance desk, so the assistance will help me basically finding my way, uh, finding the gate, finding my seat. Um, I'm able to walk on myself for sure, but it's more, it's easier first and also it's not really possible for me to read the screen, know where is my plane and all these things. So when you're traveling with the assistance, it make it make the travel, the trip very easy. Actually you don't have to really care about anything. They care about you, so that's great. So the assistance at Brussels Airport is great. Um, it's usually a mix of students and people working there. Uh, all year. Um, I realized this year they have something pretty new for maybe one year or a little bit less. It's like an electric pushing wheelchair so they don't have to carry all the luggage and the people every time. Um, they have for sure those small cars you find in all these airports but uh, usually the small car couldn't go to the to the uh, custody or to the passport check and all these things then they have this little uh, wheelchair electric wheelchair and you can put one or two wheelchair and it's also easier for them because for sure if you have to work there eight hours and you have to carry all this heavy luggage and push the people and all these things it could be it could be very hard so it's a great system for the workers and for the people also so my flight was delayed by one hour or a little bit more. I had one hour to spend, so I walk into the airport. Um, I found some sculpture, a chocolate sculpture also, uh, with some Smurf. There's a Smurf everywhere, in the shop, um, in the airport itself. <laughs> to the um, 
the expo, the little expo at the Trinity College Sports Center to collect my bib number for the race tomorrow. Um, and then we came here where I am now, so it's the Trinity College facility. Um, it's like Airbnb or something. It's a student's accommodation during the year and during summer. It's a touristy place, uh, but it's great. You have a shower, a shared shower, but it's only for two rooms, so it's great. You have a shared kitchen, you can cook by yourself. The room is okay, it's pretty, it's cozy, it's, it's nice. And to have something to eat in one of the oldest pubs in Ireland, uh, Brazen Head in Dublin. And after this I came back, got some few stuff in the... I got few stuff at Tesco, uh, the supermarket, to have dinner. So for dinner we're gonna have cereals. Cereals. Actually not easy looking at the camera and looking what you're doing. So here are my cereals whatsoever. We'll do the job. take some picture because I think the light will be nice I don't wanna I don't wanna miss the opportunity but then I'm going to bed because I'm very tired Trinity College is, is a beautiful place and there is a lot of tourists during the day um, very crowded but at the end of the day they close the gate uh, but for sure if you're staying you have a car and you can enter so it's much more quieter there's not that much of people, so at the end of the day, uh, I think it was around 8, um, I went outside just to take a picture. I went outside around 8 because I wanted to make a 360 picture. So I make all my 360 picture with this, which is uh, the Insta360 for the iPhone 7. Uh, you can plug into the iPhone. Um, or you can directly put it on the mount this is how I do my picture but you will need accessories uh, that you can screw it into into a selfie stick or a tripod so if you are interested have a look into the Insta360 